This is Tall and Manly, my hardcore Iron Man that's been adventuring in Gilinor for the last three years. I made this account with one goal, to get the best equipment in the game. And back when I made this account, RuneScape had just released its first tier 95 weapon, the Fractured Staff of Armadol. But it's been three years, and the age of the tier 95 is over, and the time of tier 100s is upon us. The Shard of Genesis is an upgrade piece that can be found by defeating Hard Mode Nekatra, the final boss of the Sanctum of Rebirth. Attached to any tier 95 weapon, it will upgrade the stats all the way up to tier 100. So yeah, we're gonna wanna get a few of those. Welcome to the Sanctum of Rebirth arc. I hope nothing terrible happens in this video. Some of you may know, I am not the tallest person in the world, but unlike me in real life, my YouTube channel can still grow. If you're not subscribed to the channel, it helps me out an absolute ton, so hit that sub button right now to help us grow to 100k. I am really nervous about today. Welcome to hard mode. Do not disconnect. Ow. Okay. Oh, that's the bomb. I tried to Limitless, but I don't have Limitless on this account, so I didn't have enough Adren to reflect. Okay. Boss 2, definitely easier than Boss 1. It's all movement-based. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Holy crap. I've had a lot of fun on the Hardcore up to this point. Really has been a blast. To get to the point where we're actually almost maxed on the account, but I've been playing it too safe. And it's time to stop playing it safe and start gaming. Disconnects instantly. me. Get out, get the f out, get the f out. <sighs> oh my god. My heart is beating out of my chest. That mechanic is so hard. Like, I just don't know how to do it safely. That hit me. It's okay. It's okay. Got it. 434, okay. So we've got good news and we've got bad news. The good news is the kill line was really, really solid. We didn't use very much food. The, the bad news is that last phase is not, it just isn't good. It's not safe at all, but I'll take it. You know what? I'll take a kill. A kill is a kill is a kill. I love water battle saves, water orbs, blood runes, and fire battle saves. Good work, dude. One kill on the board. Every defensive in the book. <laughs> nice. Okay. The worm has been bested. Dude, I cannot use most of these drops, but it's fine. And finish it before, please. Nice. That's one. Big. <sighs> Two kills down. See to do this like another hundred. Uh, monkey dog. Wait, monkey dog? What the f configuration is this? Those two look the same. What the f Those all look exactly the same. And, and one of them just kills my hardcore? Dude, next time I get that, I think I just need to teleport. Big kill. Nicely done. Four kills on the board. Any loot? Bro, <laughs> what is this loot? <laughs> Ooh, nice little kill. Any droppers? Here we go. Oh. <gasps> No. Dude, it's the little, the initial pop-up makes me think it is. That is my first sub three though. That's pretty cool. It's a complicated thing. Oh my God. Huh. Oh, ha. Brother, don't do that. It's such a funny test. Cause it's like most intense boss fight in the universe. Hardest part. Do you know animals? <laughs> Here's the thing, I've got beef with Ikthlaren because I am not Ikthlaren's little helper. Thank you very much. I'm not one of Santa's little elves. I'm Ikthlaren's regular sized helper. Thank you very much. And if Ikthlaren is going to address me by my correct height, then I'm open to, you know, give a little respect back. But until that point, Ikthlaren will remain the deer. Eat prayer, eat pray. Oh, 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 hot, Jesus. What was that? Bro, what happened to my brain? Where's my brain? Lock in. It's being compressed by the chef's head. <gasps> that was a game tick. I don't deserve the chef's hat. <laughs> I don't deserve you anymore. 
I'll put it back on when I've earned it. We absolutely survived. 53 mil. Okay, so I've got Acadia Wood Spirits, Elder Wood Spirits, three Moonstones, some Soul Runes, some Blood Runes. Of the loot here, I'm trying to think, is there anything that's actually useful to me? I think I'm going to use the Summoning Focus, the Elder Wood Spirits, and the Molten Glass. And that's literally it. I think that's 100% of everything I'm going to use. What the? That was like a three second lag spike. Chat, I'm cooking. Oh, sh Okay, so you have a cat and a person sitting. Which cat? That's not a cat. Oh my God. That's why I call it deer. I call it deer because it's, there are two different cats. Now do we understand why I call one cat and one deer? <laughs> oh my God, we've got a drop too. Oh, see, my naming convention had a purpose. It had a purpose and we're going back to it. There is, it is not a cat, it is a deer. <laughs> Good lord, I almost teleported to you. Are you ready? In three, in two, in one, come on. I'm out here risking it all. I'm out here fighting for my life. Bro, you want to see Divine Rage? Can do Divine Rage. I think I popped off so hard my camera. Back to back? Question mark? Nope. That was a PR somehow. That is my 25th hard mode Nakatra kill. We are still more or less dropless, but we run it again. Got it. I got the preface. 338. Let's go, dude. Okay, that was a risk, but I'm glad I took it. Big kill. 338 on a hardcore Iron Man with a Hellhound. I'm actually more proud of that than my mains PR. <laughs> Did I win? Nine vital sparks? Wait a second! All right, let's check all of our total loot, though. Maybe we've aggregated some aggregate loot. We've done 30 kills! Okay, the log is looking bad, but everything else is looking beautiful. All right, are you ready? Bang! 107 mil. We've got a book, another book, nine vital sparks, 10 pages from 30 runs, five mood stones. Cool. I mean, the, the most pertinent thing here is I'm banking the potato cacti. I'm banking the summoning focuses. Everything else in here, I don't actually think I need for really anything. If I'm really down bad, I guess I need the molten glass for making my own like bomb vials, but hopefully not. Look how rich I am. I'm going to have like five bill in there, by the way. One day I'm going to have, we're going to not talk about it for like three episodes. And in six months, you guys are just going to see like four bill in there. It's crazy, man. That's crocodile. Yeah. So if I get that wrong, I just lose my hardcore, by the way. <laughs> Ain't that insane? I still think that's insane. If I get the memory game wrong, I just die. <laughs> Ooh, a cursed Damascus sand. Wait, that's actually helpful. <laughs> that is probably more expensive than the prayer book. Bro, how am I getting Acadia wood spirits from a hard mode? I risked my life for some Acadia wood spirits? Squiggly line hourglass. Squiggly line hourglass. Squiggly line hourglass. So then the face is safe. My naming conventions are probably very annoying for like a lot of people, but I would argue the most important thing is that they work for me and I don't get them wrong. So, you know, you the names for everyone. Click the glyphs, see their actual names. I'm trying to shape a match quickly. I'm not going Eldinus Ixlarin, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going, okay, river, river, masket, river, river, masket, river, river, masket. Monkey walking deer. See, this is where I wish I diverted, you know? Yeah, see there, like it is dodgeable. You just need to be tick perfect, which I'm like, okay with. Wait, I crushed that. That was a one cycle? Okay. Wait, that was awesome. Okay, good. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But yeah, that little walk stutter step is so cool. Like I actually love it. Another one? Huh. All right, next goal, road to ultimate, ultimate slayer slayer. Did I win? Survey says, doesn't look like it. A no what? Three in a... Three and six kills? <laughs> Surely. Surely. 
Bro. I hate it here. How have I missed it twice by that margin? Bang. I will take my Shard of Genesis. Thank you very much. Okay, may have not worked out. The other thing that we're running into, and I do want to mention this as a constraint. Oh my god, I was about to say. Okay, so I really need a scripture of a masket because even though the page rate is not good, this four hours and 54 minutes on my Jazz book is actually 100% of the time I have remaining. I'm out of Jazz pages. So this is like out of Jazz pages from the 700 hard mode care pack kills I, I did. So basically, Whenever the Jazz book runs out, we're going to be using the Amasket book, and I would actually really like one. So if we have one in the chest right here, that would be really convenient. Let's go. Okay, that's sick. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that actually works out extremely well. So now we've got the Prayer book, which I will not be using, and we've got the Amasket book, which I will actually be using. All right, that is 50 hard mode Nakatra kills, and up to this point... We are not doing well. Zero main hands, zero off hands, zero shards of Genesis, but we are now halfway to unlocking the Devourer Aura and we haven't died yet. Oh! Wait, how did that hit me? I don't trust that. Oh God. Oh! You first! Wait, that was not good, okay. Hey, we got the one cycle though. I can't believe I missed that. I didn't feel like I missed that. Oh, I lost my HP boost too. Oh my God. What the f am I doing? Oh my God. Wait, what is wrong with me? Bro, that's not how divert works. Got it. Are you kidding? Again? <laughs> okay, boss side I didn't. That is my 75th Nakatra kill. We are not doing well on drops. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But, uh, I'll take a page. This is my last kill with a Jazz book. <laughs> Bro is out of charges. So how does this Jazz book thing work? Can I unlock multiple Jazz books? Does it work? Does it let me do it or no? Hi, Mod Ryan. What's good? Can I just unlock a second one? Okay, unlock. You can only own one at a time. Wait, what? So how do I use the Jazz books that come with charge? Tell me I don't have to drop it for like three hours of charge. I have to drop the whole book. I actually hate that. Like, why can't I just use it on to charge it up by whatever, the three hours? I, mean, I guess that's effectively the same thing, but... Well, let's find out if this Amasket book is any good. 6.59? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Quickly, yeah. We can beat the system update here for fast. Go. 17k. Four minutes till update. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Two minutes till system update. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Dude, why do we do this to ourselves? This would be the stupidest way to lose a hardcore in the gosh darn universe. Bang. Oh. Bang. Get out. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> we got the run in before the system update. And I didn't even get a drop for all of that, for the risk and the fastest run ever recorded in human history. And still, the PVMer must continue PVMing. You know, I think we got enough time. Why don't we do the first boss of the next run? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> that is a brutal log. Yeah, it's not looking good, right? It just doesn't look like what I wish it looked like. Actually, in post, could we have like an editor, like potentially just like put whatever you think I would be happy with at this point. Whatever you think would be like the base minimum for me to be happy, throw it up there. All right. Any drops? Bang. Looking like, no, that is my 75th hard mode Nakatra kill. And we don't have a single Nakatra specific unique yet. Oh, I got it. Okay, that's my first one cycle with the Amasket book. It's definitely worse than the Jazz book, but that's not bad. Did I miss something? Oh, oh, squid. Squid got another drop. <laughs> Yay, my favorite recurring bit. Squid! Can you stop? I've got a page. You know what? I'm taking that page right out. We call this a reinvestment. Oh! I got a scripture! I like, I, I noticed the sparkles right before I, cl I clicked on it. Okay. 
I mean, it's not terribly useful, but I guess when this one breaks, I can swap it out. Not bad. I mean, not good, but not bad. It gives me a couple. It's basically like getting a drop of four pages, but we have now killed 87 hard mode Nakatras <laughs> without a single Nakatra specific drop. That is kill number 88 done at Nakatra. We are dropperless. Let's go again. Okay, c can you stop? How is it possible that Squid does this every two days? But I got 19 stone. That's my loot. Oh, pain. Oh, that's the person that wants to trade me something. Okay, I want you to know my gut feeling is this is a bad idea. Is that a quest item? Oh, you can trade it because it's from Hero's Quest. All right. If this works, if I bring the lucky candlestick with me and it works, my mind will be blown. All right, let's see if this candlestick is uh, is worth anything. Actually useless. Wait, actually, maybe there's a pet in here. All right, if there's a pet in here, I take it back. Nope. Your candlestick is useless. Destroyed on the spot. All right, anyone have an actual working stick? That is 97 Nakatra kills, dropless. <laughs> I do like genuinely feel like this happens at every boss and I don't really understand. And I know whenever I say that, like someone in my YouTube comments is gonna like reference the one thing that I was slightly over drop rate on like three years ago. <laughs> this account in its history has just not done well. Why don't I just cope really hard? Why don't I just lie? Why don't I lie to myself? Shard? I don't, I don't want one. I don't, what, what would I do with a shard? What, you think I need more damage output? I'm already outputting the max amount of damage. Boss died. Dude, there's no way. That is kill number 98 without a single Nakatra unique. <laughs> what do you got for me, Blast? Kill number 99. Dude, there's no way. The final... Nakatra kill, kill number 100 in hard mode on the hardcore Iron Man. I need to lock in. I need to focus up. This is an absolute hardcore Iron Man killer of a boss. If I die on kill 100, that is, I think I would cry. So we need to lock in, focus up. Good movement. Look at that perfect movement. Absolutely beautiful movement there. That was sick. I did not get hit by anything that whole phase. This is Nakatra kill, 100 on the hard crying Iron Man. Zero signs of life, zero incidents. It is zero drops? Are you serious? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, what I meant to, to <laughs> look, okay? Like, uh, the, the, what do you want from me? I'm pretty composed most of the time. <laughs> At 100 kill count, we now have the Devour Aura on a freaking hard Iron Man. And I think that is absolutely sick. That is an absolute flex piece. That is a bigger flex piece than the tier 100. That is a bigger flex piece than the tier 95 wand orb. We've got the devourer, which means we did a hundred hard mode Nakatra kills on a hard cry Iron Man without dying. And I feel great about that. I am proud of that. And I will absolutely keep this thing on for the remainder of this account. We're at 100 kills and the drops haven't really happened at all. But I kind of feel like we're this meme right now. I know it's gonna happen, and if we keep at it, we're gonna get all the drops that we want. But for right now, I just need to make sure that I don't give up and our luck's gonna turn around. Any droppers? No way! That's a drop! Wait, no way on kill 101! Wait! That's a drop! Here we go, there's a shard. I guarantee it, in three, in two, in one! You know what, I'll, I'll take it. You know what, it is better than nothing. I will take a main hand, tier 95 one on the hardcore Iron Man. I will freaking take it. We are tall, we are wanded. I need an orb, I need a shard, I need a pet. And then we've got the log. Not that we're going for the log, but 
I'll take it. Oh my, wait. No, that's not another drop, is it? I think it is. Dude, what is going on? The second we hit 100, it's like, all right, you can go to the boss now. <laughs> Call that a little back-to-back. -back. Okay, these new Adren pots are all I needed to get one cycles every kill. That is insanely impactful. Like, it is actually a complete game changer. Just, like, a little change to my perks and a better A-pot. I am shocked that that 10% Adren makes that much of a difference. Yeah, anyway. Did I win? Bang. Oh my god, another drop! There's no way! Dude, okay! Okay, so, 100 kills, nothing. Kill 101, drop! Kill 102, nothing. Kill 103, drop! Come on! Bro, I hate this. Are you kidding me? Lock ring on, bang. No death mark for better drop rate, obviously. Oh, wait, I got a drop! Oh my god, wait! Maybe no death mark is the secret. Okay, here's the deal. I'm giving you the tier list right now. Here's the tier list of Ryan's satisfaction related to Nakatra drops. So, Shard of Genesis, S tier, freak the heck out, super excited. Rounding out A tier, we're gonna have Ode to Deceit, the offhand. That's an A. Um, in B tier, we've got the wand because it would be a triplicate wand. And then that way when I'm using one, the one that I have in my bank has a friend. Then. In F tier, we have both of the books. I hate books, I don't even know how to read. And then, in a brand new, unprecedented tier, double S tier, triple S tier? A triple drop. For the triple S tier, a shard of Genesis, an offhand, and the pet. What do we think? In three, in two, in one, hype me up! Yes, let's go, dude! Shard of Genesis on Tall and Manly! Let's freaking go, dude! Tier 100 on the Hardcore Iron Man! That is such a sick freaking drop, dude! That is so sick! Oh my god! We've gone and done it! Unlocks innate mastery for tier 95 legendary weapons. Yeah, those are the only tier 95s I have, right? Oh wait, I was like, what do I fill my invent with? Perfect! Just uh, a couple books. And then if we're being just kind of regularly structured and smart, we would throw it on the necromancy gear because as a hard crier man, you want to use the safest style. The safest style is necromancy. So my guess is if I had to choose, I'm probably going to be doing a lot with necromancy. That is my current thinking. So I think for now, we're going to keep doing our sanctum. I, I don't think I can make a decision. There are, there are multiple good options. You know the drop is good when it makes you rethink your account goals. No, it's a disgustingly powerful drop. It is a massive power spike. At worst, it's a 3% DPS increase, which is still a lot. That's more than a tier 99 prayer. What's that kill count? 110. Bang. No. Wait, that's a draw. No. Not another book. It has to be another book. Are you leaving in the fourth book? Ugh, bro, that like undoes the shard of Genesis. It genuinely does. And then in, in reality, kill times get down to 15 minutes and it's like, oh, that's actually totally fine. Like that would be, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Oh, what did I do? Why am I so dumb? I literally meant to click on my VIP pot. Oh, the movement. Wait, I'm actually dirt nasty with it. That was so sick. Nobody has movement like he does. That is one thing that I really like about the Nakatra fight. Like, genuinely, it is so satisfying to complete with the with the movement when you're really schmoovin'. Feels so nice. Alrighty. Bang. Ooh, Reaper. Drop! No way! No freaking way! Okay, okay, okay! Lock in! Do we get two shards of Genesis in four kills? Come on. And then we don't have to worry about decision making. We just, we just get to use one on Necromancy and just we're chilling. Oh my God, there's no way! Two and four kills! No freaking way, dude! There is no freaking way! We're actually cooking! Wait, we're actually cooking, what? That is insane! I, I cannot believe it. 
We're actually cooking right now. Two shards and four kills. I'm so happy we went back. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Two shards? I, I literally cannot freaking believe that. I'm dumbfounded right now. Like, my brain is not processing. Two of them! So, in the last 40 minutes, we've made, like, four bill. I think now that we've got two shards, our decision-making gets a little bit easier. It's time for tier 100 legendary weapons. Increases the damage and accuracy of the Omni Gardens on my lantern by five tiers. Here we go. It's done. You unlock the stat upgrade Omni Guard Silver Lantern, Innate Mastery. So now when I hover over it, Innate Mastery plus five damage accuracy tiers. We're so sick. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see if we get it back to back. There we go. Nice, nice. Very good. Ooh, wait. Wait. <laughs> um, that's not a drop. <laughs> wait, that is my first 200 mil on Tall and Manly. That's too funny. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, I really have been focusing on Necromancy. Like, if you look at my stats, right? 93 attack, 94 strength. Nine seconds? Oh my god! What? Dude, that was like six seconds from insta-kill. What happened? I was just like chilling. Bang! That was crazy. Oh my god, a drop! Yes, dude! Okay, perfect! Absolutely impeccable! Cannot be pecked! He is green! In three, in two, in one! Let's go, dude! What a beautiful drop! What a beautiful freaking day! We are now pet off of Sanctum title, but more importantly, we've got a full set of tier 95 dual wield magic weapons! We are absolutely locked and loaded, dude! Are you kidding me? That is exactly what we need! That's literally arc completed! Loose ends have been all tied up! Our final log, 130 hard mode, 17 normal mode, two wands, one orb, two shards, four books, a fifth book, a sixth book, a seventh book, an eighth book, and no pet. And of course, the devourer aura. I am fired up, dude. That is exactly what we needed. With not one, but two shards of Genesis unlocked and only one used, only one question remains. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should upgrade next to tier 100, because I have no idea what I want to use this last shard on. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for the support. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you again in the next one.